paper trading in a simulator and since I'm not on the East Coast I have to get up an hour earlier so recently I have been doing this whole setup and paper trading for the first like four hours of my morning and then I will start the rest of my day hopefully it goes well and then we'll see what we get up to I have a few things I have to do today and get done so I'm gonna take you along for it it's gonna be a classic work vlog get ready get excited <laughs> The economy is in like a terrible state right now in America. So the market has been really bad and it's been really hard as a beginner to try and trade this and trade it well. Aw, nice work, Annika. People are telling me good job in the chat room. <laughs> oh my God, that's so nice. It's been a really good day like and I don't show you that to brag. It's literally fake money So I hope this doesn't make anyone feel bad. I'm really proud of myself Volatility presented itself and I jumped in and I made $460 and I don't care if it's fake Obviously I need to do this with real money in a few months, but like I this is a start like it's a really good start I just want you to know that like though today I just so happened to capture a good day There's been a lot of bad days and I'm just picking myself up every single day at the end of it and being like we're gonna try again tomorrow Don't feel bad about it. Like don't give up since it's only 10. Um, I'm gonna go walk Lola I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna freshen up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna decompress and go get myself ready for the rest of my day Like always, I'm going to take you through 
my to-do list really quickly. I have to write a response to Super Goop. I'm going to make some note cards based off of my trading notes. I have to finish my Notion pages. I have some sheets from Pottery Barn that I bought a few days ago that don't fit my bed, so I need to return those. I'm going to get started by watching some of the mentor sessions and YouTube videos. Um, just for like some extra knowledge. I'm honestly avoiding the note cards because they're gonna be a lot head out to run some errands. I got caught up taking notes and that went really well. So I did like an hour and a half of that. And now I'm gonna head out to go to Pottery Barn to return those sheets and then also grab some lunch. And then I'm hoping to get some study time in at a coffee shop. I'm just using this giant tote from Museum of Peace and Quiet. And then I'm just wearing this really comfy loungewear outfit. The top and shorts are from Maritzia and then I just have my gray New Balances on. I just picked up some Salada, got some pita chips. And here is the delicious salad. Oh, I think I'm just gonna eat in here and just do my lunch date with myself in my car. This feels like a car mukbang. I always watch those. Steph Pappas is my favorite. <laughs> So it started storming out of nowhere, which you can probably hear behind me. And I was gonna go to Starbucks and study outside, but clearly that is not an option anymore. So I came to this other coffee shop, but I'm gonna go inside and look for a spot and do some note cards, hopefully get myself a chai latte to get in the cozy mood. It's just like the completely wrong day for me to be wearing mini shorts. done at the coffee shop you saw me do some note cards and the reason I was doing those is because I have my notes on my iPad which I've shown you a million times my good notes from my trading course I feel like this information is really helpful but I want to be able to recall it from my brain faster and better than I currently am that's why I'm making the note cards I was able to get like three chapters of note cards done which is awesome now I am going to focus on making some notion pages which I have also talked about so these are the notes and I am making them into their own little pages to, and this just helps me keep everything so much more organized
p.m. and I am waiting for Renee to come over with our dinner. But I have like two more small tasks to get done and one of them I wanted to talk to you about briefly. I was a product development intern for the summer with Supergoop. And Supergoop is an SPF uh, cosmetic skincare company and the internship ended last week. So they offered me an extension to my internship. I have taken the weekend to think about it. I'm going to share with you what I'm gonna do. I have decided after thinking about it a lot that I will not be extending the internship. I mentioned this in one of my last vlogs, but I have a dream to work for myself and it just was a really hard decision. Getting to work for Supergoop was such a crazy dream opportunity and intern for them was honestly so much fun. So that's what I've decided to do. It's time that I focus on some things that I'm working towards, but I have to write a response email politely declining the position so that is what i'm going to do right now because i've honestly avoided it and it's been a week and i need a reply so <laughs> Look at these adorable pumpkin pillows I got. Can you tell I'm ready for fall? So I'm in bed now and I am going to sit down and journal. I've been doing this actually pretty much every day before I go to sleep and I'm really proud of myself for that. I guess you could call it a diary basically. I just let my mind wander. It's also just fun to get my thoughts and memories down on a page. right now and I really need to get to bed because I have to be up again tomorrow morning at 6 and do it all over again I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me I enjoyed bringing you along with me make sure you like and subscribe if you like the work vlogs there will definitely be more good night you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video mm -hmm.